first, finding out that Blue Pop, wearing one and weighing 160 pounds, with a professional record of 14 wins. Seven wins coming by way of the night, with two to face. The challenger from Kida Power City, ladies and gentlemen, being introduced right now and of course and he has a process and young knockout in the four eyes by Kimel Magramo way back on March 25 March 25 2018 Cavalio being introduced with only one defeat he's now the current WBO number one world contender This is it. This is it going to be a quick one? And that is something that we will need to find out. Of course, Raymond Gabalio has 25 wins, 21 wins coming by way of knockout. At ang kanyang ka isa isang talo ay sa kamay po ni Champ Nonito Donaire Jr. And of course, Michael Bravo currently has 14 wins, 7 wins coming by way of knockout. And uh, may two losses na, no, mga idols. So is this going to be a quick fight? Something that we will need to find out. Raymond Gabalio will be defending his WBO Oriental Bantamweight title against Michael Bravo. Round one is about to go. This is it guys, round number one. Raymond Gabalio, parehas pong orthodox yung dalawang fighters. Raymond Gabalio is the one wearing the, I think it was uh, blue blue gloves a while. Red naman po ang suot-suot ni Michael Bravo. And right now, you can see Raymond Cabal is trying to cut the ring para hindi na makasyado makagalaw itong si Michael Bravo pero bantayan pa po sila sa distansya at pakiramdaman pa. Raymond Cabal throws a straight right but it's too far still. He needs to gauge the distance and then they exchange blows there. Both boxers landing. Then counter and missed. And uh, this is something na masasabi natin na pagka nagkamali rito si Bravo, pag nag-overcommit ito si Bravo, delikado siya sa mga combinations na tinatapon ni Raymart Gabalio. And just like that, another quick one-two coming from Raymart Gabalio. Now, Raymart Gabalio is the current number one WBO bantamweight contender. Siya po ang nangunguna. And of course, kung manalo siya rito, mangangamoy na ba ang bakbakan? ang pag-challenge niya sa current WBO Bantamweight Champion na si Jason Maloney. Yan ang ating aantay. And of course, Gabalio needs to finish his assignment first and uh, he acknowledge the punch that uh, Bravo landed. Ganda ng laban. Then Gabalio, very skilled fighter, very experienced fighter and he has this advantage of course. And I believe when it comes to power, when it comes to positioning and uh, and of course with the likes of Champ Nonito Donaire he also fought and defeat itong si Manuel Rodriguez mga idol at ang kanyang last outing was way back October 29 2022 against Ricardo Sueno kung saan nanalo po siya via technical knockout so round number one so for up up okay so that was not a knockdown Medyo nagkatulakan ng konti, nagkadiinan. Good thing the referee was able to saw it. Gabalio inching his way now closer to Bravo, trying to land his combination. But still, the distance is not in there. But the power, you can hear it here. Grabe. That's what I'm saying. Nag overcommit na naman don at sumablay si Bravo and then several combinations being landed and there you go. Medyo na pasuray at ramdam na po ngayon ni Bravo yung mga combinations na tinatapon ni Gabalio as we go down to the final seconds. Almost there. Medyo kumalog na to hold. Great round. Round number two is about to begin. There you go. Raymond Gabalio versus Michael Bravo Tan Gabalio and uh, Michael Bravo connected there with uh, straight to the body 
Nga pala mga idol, I forgot uh, Michael Bravo, South po po ang kanyang stance Samantalang uh, si Raymond Gabalio is orthodox po Umatake po Si Bravo At uh, muntik na naman at nagkadulasan na naman And uh, nagkatawa na rito Napapatawa itong si Raymond Gabalio Ang sinabi niya para I heard para mahina I'm not sure And right now Gabalio you can see Uh, his skills at yung kanyang IQ is waiting for Michael Bravo to commit a mistake and then he capitalized it by countering alam natin mabigat ang kamao ng mamang ito and right now sa kanyang numero he has 80.77% knockout percentage ganyan po katbigat ang kamay nitong si si Gabalio but Michael Bravo holding his own at muntik naman po silang magkaumpugan doon referee gave a warning at a reminder po dito so far ito maingat din dito si Michael Bravo and Michael uh, ito si Raymond Gabalio hindi nagmamadali and then a quick one two ito medyo nahilo doon ng tamaan ng one two ni Raymond Gabalio but Raymond Gabalio hindi nagmamadali napapangisi siya he knew alam niya na kayang kaya niya tanggapin yung mga suntok pero muntik siyang tamaan doon ng overhand left I think tumama yan pero it's not that strong low blow sabi ni Raymond Gabalio keep it up keep it up touch club sila oh, oh. what a good show sportsmanship Raymond Gabalio right now is just waiting waiting to counter and I think this is one thing na oops 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 hindi po yun bagsak mga idol Uh, balik, sa, balik sa gitna ang dalawang boksingero pakiramdaman still but of course that round one uh, belongs to Raymond Gabalio as he lands another uppercut while Michael Bravo is trying to get in the inside overhand left again pero yun ang napansin natin pero tumama rin dun si Michael Bravo uh, the Raymond Gabalio medyo nagiging careless siya dito as uh, Michael Bravo connected there with a quick one two sabi ni Raymond Gabalio okay reset tayo dito tayo sa gitna And uh, that was, I think, a uh, best punch that uh, Michael Bravo has landed all throughout the fight since this is only the second round as we go to the final 10 seconds. End of the round. Okay, guys, round number three so far. Saking unofficial scorecard. I have it uh, two rounds to none in favor of Gabalio. Okay, simula na po tayo. This is round number three. Raymond Gabalio fainting, fainting, faking, faking. Same goes with Michael Bravo. Michael Bravo wisely moves out of danger. Counter missed by Raymond Gabalio. Combination coming from Gabalio and then the exchange, but those heavy leathers are being landed by Gabalio. And then an uppercut, you can see that, medyo tumango yung ulo doon ni uh, Michael Bravo. But Michael Bravo, eh, hindi na tatakot makipagpalitan dito kay uh, Raymond Gabalio. Alam ni Michael Bravo that Michael, that uh, Raymond Gabalio has that knockout or power punch reputation. Power puncher ito namang to. Pero maganda rin yung yung pagkakataon ano? at ito nakikita na natin tinatimingan ni Raymond Gabalio yung pagpasok ni Michael Bravo ng isang uppercut but Michael Bravo eto ngayon nagiging mautak rin tumakounter counter accidental clash of heads wala naman let's see of course uh, those uh, accidental clash of heads are expected especially these guys are on opposite stands South po po itong si Michael Bravo Samantalang orthodox naman po Itong si Raymond Gabalio Okay, so let's see Kung merong tama si Raymond Gabalio We haven't checked it But it looks like there is The ring physician is checking on it And says it's a go We will continue, definitely Fight continues 
and some reminders are being said uh, by the corner of and of course I think Michael Bravo also has a cut and the ring physician yeah it looks like it's okay no problem Okay, so yan po yung nangyayari mga idol. Of course, yung accident ng Clash of Heads na yun, malakas yun. Mabilis yung kanilang uh, pagsalpukan. And that cost them, I think, uh, may mga ano, Raymond Gabalio, four-punch combination, and the left hand landed the final blow. Then he counters again. Michael Bravo still holding his own. I think what Raymond Gabalio needs to do here, he's, he, need, he needs to... Uh, throw at least land a punch dun sa bodega ni Michael Bravo because Michael Bravo maganda uh, rin yung kanyang footwork and all oh, what a straight right hand landed dun sa chest ni Michael Bravo sometimes yung mga ganong mga punches eh, talagang naiistan ka for a while fraction of a second definitely eto exchange and then Gabalio landed with the left eto parang kita na natin namumula na rin po at uh, yung damage na yon coming from uh, the accidental uh, headbutt pero matatapak ng mamang to Gabalio still in there trying to time Michael Bravo but Michael Bravo very patient as he lands a straight left dun sa bodega ni Raymart Gabalio Maganda rin yung pinapakita rito And then another accidental clash of heads At uh, parehas na pong may damage Yung dalawang boksingero mga idol Because of that clash of heads And uh, just a while ago Another uh, accidental head uh, clash ang nangyari Pero hopefully sana hindi na madagdagan Yung damage ng dalawang boksingero As we go down to the final second There we go Punta na po tayo sa round number 4 At uh, medyo matindi-tinding trabaho po Ang ginawa ng kanilang mga cutman Dahil nga po kailangan pahintuin Ang sugat na natamu ng dalawa Dahil sa accidental clash of heads Cavalio still missing wildly and uh, ang napapansin natin dito you know, uh, Gabalio really wanted to take out Michael Bravo But Michael Bravo very patient Just waiting for his opportunity And he's very relaxed At uh, dito nakikita natin That eh, ito si Gabalio may stiff ano? And then a good a straight hand Landed by Gabalio Balik sa amin Balik sa gitna ng ring And umatake doon si Bravo And uh, sumablay Yung left hook uh, Ni uh, Gabalio At malakas yun mga idol And uh, dito may tendency si Gabalio To throw a straight right from the outside Na napakalayo And I think Michael Bravo eh, Nakikita niya na yun from the outside and still, Gabalio missing wildly with those shots. And uh, credit uh, to uh, Michael Bravo, of course. Uh, mukhang pinag-aralan talaga nila yung uh, galawa na nitong si Raymard Gabalio. Now, the question here is, of course, sino ang merong magandang stamina? Lalakas ng tinama na yun eh, ni uh, Gabalio. It looks like nasaktan dito si uh, Bravo. But, uh, and then another uppercut, accidental clash of heads. Let's see. Accidental clash of heads again. And let's see, let's check what happened. Accidental clash of heads Hindi talaga maaiwasan Between Southpaw and Orthodox Mga idol And uh, Gabalio complaining to the referee That somehow Yung kanyang minimuestra eh, Parang sinasabi niya Is intentional I'm not sure of course uh, just, uh, And still It's a go Diretso po yung laban mga idol Fight continues Matatapang tong mga mamang to And of course right now Raymond Gabalio Wanted to Defend his WBO Oriental Bantamweight uh, Title ha? Mga idol Yung Bantamweight title na yan Ay ang kanyang golden ticket Para maghap silang dalawa 
ni Jason Maloney but Michael Bravo is the man in front of him giving him problems as Michael Bravo landed a combination and then a quick straight to the body medyo nababalahibuhan dito si Raymond Caballo On to, a while ago, the uh, early part ng laban, eh, nakakatama na o na rito makapagpatama si uh, Gabalio. But right now, he landed a, a straight right. At uh, ito yung tinatapon dito ni uh, Michael Bravo. Somehow, eh, napipredict na rin po ni Gabalio. Final seconds. Let's see. Uh, it's at round number five between Gabalio and Michael Bravo. And somehow, Michael Gabalio is having difficulties landing his power punches against a very game Michael Bravo ah, pala mga idol eh, itong si Michael Bravo is from uh, Davao City I think yeah Davao City well Raymond Caballo is from Sanman of course sa Gen San combination coming from Caballo and right now you can see some combination and footwork being shown by Raymond Caballo but wisely so might step itong si Michael Bravo to land his own combination and then an uppercut landed to the body that was a heavy shot landed by Gabalio and then some combination now you can see some footwork being shown uh, by Gabalio while throwing those uh, heavy bombs straight step in one two coming from Michael Bravo very unpredictable that is why hindi na timingan ni Raymond Gabalio that was a good a shot coming from Bravo of Davao City and then uh, nauna po yung uh, job na yun na pinasok at tinapo ni Michael Bravo still very active hands coming from Michael Bravo he's really timing uh, Raymond Gabalio coming in parang yun yung ginagawa niyo mga idol ano? it's right now as far as you can see relax mas relax ito na lang Michael Bravo as he timed another left straight papasok doon kay Raymond Gabalio and right now it looks like nakukuha na rito ni Michael Bravo yung kanyang distansya and how he can step in but of course he needs to be careful Raymond Gabalio uh, siya po ang mas may mabigat na kamaw rito sa laban A very good decision and very good game plan from Michael Bravo and his team as he landed another one to combination there. Wala pa tayo masyado nakikita ang patama rito coming from Gabalio and Michael Bravo landed a quick one to doon sa bodega ni Raymond Gabalio. And then, sumagot sa kanan. And then, eksakto yun. Nasaktan, nasaktan uh, si Bravo. But sabi ni Bravo, ref, mababa yun. Sabi ni referee, no, it's okay. Nandroon siya, eksakto sa belt line. Almost, almost. Uh, Raymond Gabal, you missed again with that hook. Mukhang bantay po talaga ni Michael Bravo yung hook na yun ni Raymond Gabal. Dahil karamihan, yun po yung kanyang pamatay. Final 10 seconds. Pamatay na suntok Straight right hand landed by Gabalion That's it basically Okay so as we go now to round number 6 Gabalion versus Michael Bravo Muntik na naman magkaumpukan At mukhang nagkaumpukan na ngayon At uh, dito napapansin natin ano Mukhang talagang nababantayan ni uh, Michael Bravo yung kanan at yung kaliwa ni Raymond Gabalio. The 1, 2, 3 punch combination and then right straight. And of course, and I think what uh, Gabalio needs to do here is he needs to set uh, his right. Kailangan niyang mag-jab, kailangan niyang mag-faint, kailangan niyang i-control. And then a quick one to basically that's it. Kailangan niya talagang itapan yung kanyang jab. A uh, one two, medyo kita yun ni Bravo, kaya napa atras. Uh, Raymond Gabalio jumping in and out, in and out, and just waiting for his opportunity. An overhand a left, ayun talaga yung tinatapa ni Michael Bravo, trying to time kuma counter counter itong si uh, Michael Bravo. Gabalio still not setting it up. 
wanted to land his power shots he needs to throw his jab he needs to throw his combination he needs to faint he needs to fake Michael Bravo para makapagpalan siya uh, suntok pero yon Michael Bravo still holding his own I think pagdating dito sa galawan ano? Michael Bravo medyo relax eh good body shot landed by Michael Bravo and a left straight to the head of Gabalio Gabalio another jab landed by Michael Bravo This is the sixth round, ladies and gentlemen. And it looks like ito, umatake na rito si Michael Bravo. Alam niya na medyo nakakalamang na siya sa palitan. Alam niya kung saan itatapon at papadapuin ni Gabal yung kanyang kanan at yung yung kanyang iniiwasan. So far, so good here in the sixth round for the challenger, Michael Bravo. An accidental clash of heads again. Nako, ayun na nakakatakot dito yung accidental clash of heads Well, we cannot avoid that of course Ay, baka one point deduction Kay, kay Michael Bravo binawas doon because of that accidental clash of heads Nako, imbes na mananalo dito si Bravo sa round na ito Eh, nabawasan siya So definitely kumakuha ito ni Gabal Cut landed by Michael Bravo. Okay, so Mahmakuha and Michael Bravo on the top. It would be a 9 9 round. The 1 2 landed by Raymond Gabalio. Final seconds of the sixth round. One two coming from the body from the outside. Okay, so round number seven. Raymond Gabalio versus Michael Bravo. And so far, Michael Bravo is holding his own. But remember, uh, Michael Bravo surrendered to Jimel Magravo on the seventh round. That was way back 2018. And right now, it looks like mukhang ayaw niyang maulit yung ganon. That is why he's holding his own. He's very patient. He's He's uh, very relaxed Kaya nakakasikwat siya at nakakapagpatama At uh, dito medyo gigil uh, Itong si Raymond Gabalio He wanted to put on a show Still, his movement He's not throwing his jab Which is of course, kitang kita naman from a distance Nahawak niya pa rin yung, uh, yung, ha yung reach advantage Hide and reach Hawak ni Gabalio and uh, ayun na napapansin natin dito, no? si Michael Bravo, siya pa yung nag-fake, siya yung nag-initiate ng attack at yung kanyang pag-fake, nag-react agad. Itong si, uh, si Raymond Gabalio. Another body shot, straight left to the body landed by Michael Bravo. Palitan sila. And then ito na, nagpapalitan. It looks like, of course, good thing that... Um, uh, Raymond Gabalio was able to put his hands up to cover dahil kung hindi inabot siya doon ni Michael Bravo back to the center of the ring combination right now and uh, Michael Bravo is getting more and more confident dito sa palitan na to good body shot landed All right to the belt line Faking. And of course, but by this point, if Raymond Gabalio, uh, Raymond Gabalio needs a uh, plan B. Para dito, dahil iba na po yung pinapakita ng Michael Bravo. Michael Bravo is landing. Uh, his punches now, his jabs are landing and his left. And it looks like mukhang gustong sikwatin ni Michael Bravo. Si Michael Bravo Michael Bravo still gla gazed glazed or kung ano pa man man ito nakikipagsabay na siya but of course the right hand almost uh, uh, 
Michael Bravo almost went down with a right hand and this is what we're saying yung makana na yon at yung kamao eh talagang mas mabigat in favor of Raymond Gabalio missed okay so uh, oh that was a great round ang ganda ng laban okay guys we're on the 8th round at a tremendous development habang umaatake doon si Michael Bravo and then all of a sudden isang right ang pinatama ni Gabalio and uh, Michael Bravo almost went down eto round number 8 let's see kung makakapitalize uh, ni Gabalio yung pagkakataon or if ramdam pa ni Michael Bravo yung sting na yun na pinatama ni Raymond Gabalio but of course at the end of the round it looks like medyo okay na si uh, Michael Bravo pero still he's holding his own holding his own as he lands another left to the body of Gabalio as another one and then right straight landed uh, countered by uh, Gabalio and then a quick one too but landed and uh, Michael Bravo acknowledges another right hand and it looks like right now Michael Bravo wanted to fight fire with fire at gusto niya makipagsabayan dito pero delikado sa kanya yon because those two rights eh medyo nahino siya doon as another left landed by uh, Gabalio pero sumagot ng right hook itong si Michael Bravo matapang matapang hindi natatakot dun sa mga power punches na pinatama na yon and uh, Michael Bravo landing at tumalsik yung pawis ni uh, ma, ni Raymond Gabalio dun and then another one too that landed by Raymond Gabalio and ito na yung sinasabi natin guys This is a battle of nutrition. Tingnan natin kung sino ang mas may magandang hangin to be able to last and almost magkaumpugan na naman. But there's an uppercut landed to the body by Raymart Gabalio. Uh, this is a good round for Raymart, the current WBO Oriental Bantamweight Champion. Medyo nahihiwagahan siya rito kay Michael Bravo. That Michael Bravo is holding his own and was able to connect with those combination and uh, Michael Bravo is timing Raymond Gabalio coming in because it was pretty telegraphed walang tinatapon na jab itong si Raymond Gabalio to set up his power punches and I think yun yung kulang dito uh, na nakita natin rito kay uh, kay Gabalio and almost accidental clash of heads again Another uppercut landed. Masyadong telegraph yung one-two na yon coming from Raymond Gabalio. He needs to throw his jab and that is what uh, we are not seeing from him. At uh, kaya tumatiming timing lamang itong si Bravo. He knew that if he stays on range at kung sumablay itong si Gabalio, may opportunity siya to counter. And just like that, sub combination. Final 10 seconds of the round okay uh, two more rounds to go uh, this bantamweight bout is scheduled for 10 rounds at papasok na tayo sa ninth round and of course right now Michael Bravo holding his own against the current WBO Oriental Bantamweight Champion Raymond Gabalio Matindi rin yung game plan and strategy na pinapakita ni itong si Michael Bravo is very careful. Maingat din siya. It's just timing. Timing talaga yung kanyang recipe dito. And then just like that, he was able to step in and land at that straight jab. Although the left hand did not land. That's it basically. And just like that, walang jab, papasok. Itong si Raymond Gabalio Kaya tinatamaan siya rito Ni Michael Bravo And then ito Tumama yung kanan na yun. Again Coming from uh, Bravo But uh, Gabalio answered with a right straight At tumawa And then another right Landed by Gabalio And then one, two, three Missed Alam na ni Michael Bravo Kung ano yung sasaluhin niya Because there was no jab Atake, then a quick one two coming from Gabalio. Then 
one two again coming from Gabalio. Uh, Michael Bravo was able to duck it. Balik sa gitna ng ring, medyo nagpapay nga. Uh, left hand landed to the body by Bravo, but uh, Gabalio answered with a right uppercut to the body as well. And then jab, there you go, that's a jab. And then there's the hook landed by by Gabalio, but Michael Bravo is still countering. You can hear the crowd silent, pero pag nagpapalitan, ito nagsisigawan niya. Pakiramdaman, still, Raymond Gabalio na throwing his jab. And then one, two, pero kumounter lamang sa bodega itong si Michael Bravo. And uh, if we can take a look here, napapansin natin, ano, si Michael Bravo, before he throws his combination, binabato niya yung kanyang kanan, just like that, his right jab. And then a quick one too. At inuunahan niya doon sa Raymond Gabalio. Baka napapansin niya na biglang kakasa si Gabalio. And then bago pa kumasa, tinatiming niya yung off foot in order for him to step in. A quick one too. About one two missed by Gabalio. I think this is a great round for Michael Bravo. Final seconds. That's it. Okay, so this is it guys, 10 and final round for the WBO Oriental Bantamweight title. Ladies and gentlemen, this is round number 10, your final round. Final round, ito na po, this is it guys, it's now or never for Michael Bravo or Dito kay Raymond Gabalia. We don't know kung ano ang scorecards nila but somehow I think Raymond Gabalio is ahead on points but it's not that far. Uh, right straight landed by Gabalio and they're trying to circle the ring and right now it looks like uh, Michael Bravo wanted to fight fire with fire. Once again almost clash of heads. Isa -isa. Mga idol, but of course those are scoring blows wild uh, missed a wild shot missed by uh, Raymond Gabalio and then a quick one two at medyo gigil dito no, si Gabalio that is why hindi nakakalant siya no? uh, maatake na rito right ito palitan na and ito na ikipagsabayan and I think this is a mistake for Michael Bravo but he's landing crunches as well at same goes with Raymond Gabalio bladid na po yung dalawang baksinero on to kasigawa na po dito because this is the final round Sino ba ang mananalo dito sa labanan? Ayan ang ating aabangan. Of course, after this fight, Michael Bravo holding his own. Napalitan sila. Si Lance, another shot to the body. Papalakpak yung mga tao. And he is on the attack right now. Sa ropes. At muntik na naman magkaumpugan. But of course, that one point deduction ay malaking factor dito sa labanan, mga idol. Kanina nabawasan po ng one point itong si Michael Bravo. I forgot the round. I think it was the eight. Still Gabalio missing with those combinations Kasi very telegraphed Wala siyang tinatapo na jab Automatic 1-2 And the Michael Bravo was able to time it Si pakiramdaman Hindi na tumatapon yung dalawang boxingero At nauna doon Itong si Bravo At sumasablay pa rin Itong si Raymond Gabali Ito, sabahin na sila rito sa final 10 seconds At uh, nauna rito Good Good fight
fight, great fight. Let's see who's going to win. We go to the scorecards. And after 10 rounds of boxing, we have a split decision. And here are the scores of the three judges. Engineer Greg Ortega scores about 95, 94 for Bravo. Judge Akio Tamalo scores about 96, 93 for Cavalli. And Tony Tamia scores about 96, 93 for your winner by a split decision. One via split decision, that was a close call and Michael Bravo very game.